Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. Rustavelli Avenue in downtown Tbilisi has become one of the key front lines in an ongoing struggle between two normative systems. On one side of the ramparts is Georgia's re-energized civil society, which is demanding the restoration of a political system based on institutions, free and fair elections, and the rule of law. And on the other side of the barricades is a government tied to and to an increasingly degree dependent upon a Kremlin-connected oligarch. That oligarch, Bidzina Ivanishvili, earned his money and spent much of his life in Russia, holds no government post, but is nonetheless widely believed to be the man in charge in Georgia. Critics accuse him of persecuting political opponents, stifling critical media, and underwriting a corrupt political system where his private interests and those of his Kremlin allies dominate government decision-making. Police this week used water cannons to disperse an estimated 20,000 demonstrators in front of the Georgian parliament. The showdown in Tbilisi is one front in a systemic struggle between Western liberal democracy and something the Russian emigre political scientist Elena Lidineva calls Sistema. It's a battle between a Western-based system based on transparency, accountability, the rule of law and individual rights, and a Russian one based on patronage, oligarchy, institutionalized kleptocracy, and arbitrary rule. In addition to Georgia, there are other fronts in Ukraine, in Moldova, in Armenia, and in points farther west. The Georgian capital's main thoroughfare, named for the beloved Georgian poet Shota Rustavelli, has been on the front lines in this battle before. In April 1989, it was the scene of the Tbilisi massacre, when Red Army troops violently broke up a pro Georgian pro-independence demonstration killing 21 civilians, including a 16-year-old girl. That tragedy was one of the events that led to the collapse of the Soviet Union. And now, three decades later, the battle lines are once again being drawn. Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.